Hey, one and all, we are back with another page from Snowdrift number one, coloring it. Uh, this time it is page 13, um, and they are about ready to uh, take off from uh, Rick Arrow's cabin. Um, they're going to go on a trip to uh, Edmonton, Alberta. Ooh, cool. Uh, anyway, so as you see here, I am coloring, getting the lines all straight, uh, the colors all straightened up on the first, uh, panel for Rick Arrow, um, and doing all that coloring, uh, getting everything straightened out, uh, for each of them. And, uh, there's, as you can see with a quick glance there, uh, some of these panels don't have any color at all, so we'll be coloring each and every one. Of course, uh, Snowdrift has her coat on that we've seen before, that she fell, um, you know, victim to the uh, blizzard uh, like 70 years ago in 1952. Uh, so... Yeah, we have that, and then we got me, you know, getting all these colors in, adding some new colors, too. They're all for buttons and, you know, stuff like that to do up coats. And then, of course, from there, we'll go on to uh, shading. Actually, I don't think we're going to be shading this right away. I think we're going to get the colors in the other thing. Um, and, yeah, it's... There we have it. We're on to panel two, doing colors for Rick Arrow there, as you see him closing his door, and we're going getting his colors from another uh, page that we've done before. You know, we want to keep consistent with the colors and all that, the main colors, and then the shading colors, because, you know, d lighter, darker, you know, can be different. So being too... Uh, being consistent with the shading color isn't as important as being uh, important with uh, keeping the main colors consistent. And then, of course, keeping everything else uh, consistent, all the colors in for uh, things like, you know, the background stuff, the cabin and all that. And doing a little bit of uh, repair there or thing. Trying to make everything look uh, decent uh, for everything. We're going to make this door look a little bit bigger because it's, you know, it, right there it was just the size of his head. Um, usually doors are a little bit bigger. Although I think Rick Arrow is about six foot or 5'10 or something like that. I'm not sure of his exact height offhand, but, you know, doors are usually taller than us, right? So, you know. Um, although John did a great job, I don't want to take anything away. It's just some minor things like I noticed, you know, uh, for stuff like that. Um, and we are on to panel three for the coloring. Um, this is going to be an interesting coloring job. Um, I added her, the fur on the bottom of her coat there. I'm not sure whether it's should be down lower or not um but it is what it is what it is and it is where it is we're putting in her mask or not mask but helmet there uh and there we got now we're getting uh all the colors really close together uh well not close to well close together making sure everything's not overlapping where it shouldn't and going around checking everything out uh, now it's to color the snowmobile, which should be interesting. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of a more realistic looking snowmobile stuff. I looked up online doing that. I didn't know what the front part was to the snowmobile. Um, but now we got, I'm trying to color it. I probably have too many colors on this, but... <laughs> Uh, I just want to make some, um, uh, what you call it, uh, preview stuff, you know, with her colors. Uh, well, not exactly her colors, but you know, uh, her from before. Well, coming up and stuff. I don't know what I'm saying here. 
I'm just trying to talk as long as I can and make some sort of sense. Uh, now we're getting the snowmobile almost. Got it almost all colored here and all everything done to the lines. And now we are go we're going to redo this uh, inside uh, based on... Um, Based on some uh, the drawing that I have did that you may or may not have seen for the layout of Rick, uh, Rick's Arrow's cabin. Sorry about the dead air. And then we're putting up a wall, putting a door. The do That's the door that they're about to go out. And, of course, resetting all the colors around and making it look... Uh, exactly like the door on the outside and then we're going to put some wood texture in there uh, after we make sure we can do that easily and yeah there we go almost done and then we're going to go over to the i think the next panel and do the same for that put that wood texture on each of on that door on the outside so again, you know, getting the consistency in there. And please, if you're watching this, watch to the end if you've gotten this far. And remember to like and share and subscribe if you've yet to. And also hit that bell for notification. Um, Yeah. Uh, so yeah, now we're finally on with the shading and the lighting for each of the panels. Uh, starting with panel one, of course, with Rick Arrow. And... Uh, noticed uh some uh wrong on the top we had part of his uh uh the wall on his face which isn't good so but we got it out we got things done we're shading um uh snow drift there or nancy and that's uh the lighting for this is up and to the left i think in the, from what you'd see in the panel putting some shadows there and just getting, you know, the indents of the logs or whatever, trying to make it look more 3D-ish or whatever. I'm not sure what the right word is. But, you know, that it's got some depth to it. And, of course, now we're on to panel two for the shading and coloring. Um, getting it all done. And I'm... Not, and I figure, you know, uh, he's got, he's under the thing, so he's not going to be getting a lot of light. So I just, he just gets a glimpse of a little bit of light on the bottom of his pants, you know, because his head, you know, up near the top. So, you know, I doubt the light's going to grab it. You know, I guess it depends on which way the light's coming at things. But for me, the light's more coming a little thing. Although we did get a little bit of light up to the top. And we're going to darken the top area of those inside because, well, it's, you know, up near the top would be shaded a bit, you know, because it wouldn't have direct sunlight. So, and now we are finally on to panel three. And again, and the sun is going to be at their backs. So they're not driving into the sun. Uh, wherever they're going. Uh, the, so, you know, Nancy is going to be shade, shading him from the sun on his back. So we're going to see a lot of shade on the back. Um, and then now we're fine. I think we're on the lighting. Uh, or maybe not. We're still in the shading. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to figure out the shading as I go along. And uh, again, we are almost at the 10 minute mark here. I'm surprised that yeah, I was able to talk uh, all the way through this. No, somewhat no problem. Uh, I'm getting used to doing it, blabbering on about stuff. So, yeah, uh, we're almost done. And I'm trying to get things looking right, you know. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you think of this. And, again, make sure uh, you can hit that like button. It would be really helpful to the algorithm for, uh, for us here at Crocus Comics. And if you've yet to subscribe, please subscribe. And if you're liking this video, please share it out with others that you know. And again, thank you very much for watching.
So bye for now. God bless. Love you all. Have a great and wonderful day.